G'day everyone and welcome back for yet another old school cool review. This is going to be the last one that I'm doing on the uh, Tamiya range. We're going to kick off next week with a few other bits and pieces. But uh, I just had to show you this kit. Now this one is uh, the Hanamag. It is from 1973. So it's been around the block for a little while and uh, it is withstood the test of time. It has withstood the test of time rather well actually. Uh, so, typical Tammy affair, everything comes bagged, um, except for the whole halves, and we'll show you that. Box art's nice, and it's actually fairly indicative of, of the kit. Um, not much else on there. You get your double sets of instructions once again. I'll just quick flip through those. Now, there is one interesting little thing that I noticed that I failed to mention in the uh, Pack 36, or 37 centimeter uh, review, so just quick look at this all pretty basic instructions installation it's not all that hard there's a few bits and pieces more than I was expecting and of course you get a couple of uh, neat little crew crew members for it as well so or infantry uh, which is pretty cool I like that so not only you get the half track but you get some troops as well so nice very nice gives you a little rundown on the vehicle typical Tamiya uh, now just quickly touching on the uh, Pack 35, 36, 3.7 or 37 millimeter. This on here, I don't know how I missed it, but this on here, you can actually install this gun with this kit. So it comes with these sections. And we'll just show you there. So you can see those bits and pieces there. And you can use those to mount the uh, pack gun into the front of the, or into the top of the uh, half track, if you like. So they did that with them when the gun was sort of becoming obsolete um, and not really good at anti-tank duties anymore. They used it for mainly infantry, infantry support. Blech, I can't talk today. Uh, but yeah, there you go. So another little thing, if you wanted to do that on yours, you certainly can. Decals, decals, however you want to say it. <laughs> uh, they're looking pretty good. So these aren't too bad. They're not, not extra... Not overly thick or anything like that. They should go down pretty well. Uh, looks nice. The only parts I've really got any sort of complaints with are on the, the main hull. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll just get that out of the way. Alrighty. So let's kick off with the, the main hull. So you can see there there's some lovely rivet detail. Some nice detail on there. So it is quite good. But we do have a couple of annoying sink marks. So one here and one on the other side. Now, I have seen another version of this kit, this exact same kit, that didn't have those. So why I've lucked out and I've got them behind the clips there, I don't know. But uh, I have seen them without them. So just luck of the drawer, I guess. Not too hard to fix, just a little bit of a nuisance. Um, the underside of the hull, very simple, very nice and easy. Um, I'll probably... You've got the... Um, little tab there we'll fill that in other than that it's really quite uh, nice and basic uh, lovely detail on it with the rivets as well um, and considering you know once again considering the age of this kit how could you complain infantry figures so as you're saying you've got the infantry figures and a crewman uh, for the vehicle as well uh, these are all pretty standard uh, Tamiya, if you have a look at the pack gun ones, you'll see that you use basically the same torso bust and they just use different legs and, and arms and things to the poses. They're all fairly easy to, to assemble. Uh, not really anything major that you have to look out for other than the seam lines. There's a few seam lines on them, but that's to be expected in a kit of this age. And uh, even then, they're not, not completely horrible. So definitely a lot of fun to be had building those. Uh, moving on, we've got, uh, I believe that's the rear of the hull of the vehicle. Just check that, hang on. <laughs> Glad I did. I knew that wasn't quite right. That is actually the exact opposite end of the vehicle. <laughs> so that's the nose. This will teach me not to do videos at this time of night. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Uh, machine guns, you've got the fenders for the uh, outside of the vehicle. Inject and pin marks are hidden underneath there. So, you know, typical, well thought out, um, nicely designed, nicely moulded 
Tamir kit. There are a few mold seams on the lights and things and bits and pieces that you'll need to tidy up, but nothing horrendous. Uh, really quite good. Moving into the interior of the vehicle, it's really quite simple. Um, so you see the backs of the seats there. That's probably going to need some fixing up um, if you want to have them. Now you're going to see, you probably see the back of those. I've never made one of these before, so I'll have to double check it. But uh, I would be filling those, definitely. Um, you could go overboard and put in springs and all that sort of jazz if you wanted to, but I don't think that's necessary. We have the control panel there. You can see that's all fairly basic. And uh, the interior has got a nice textured floor on it. Uh, so nothing, you know, nothing that's really amazing, but... Uh, certainly good value good value for money on these little kits uh, yeah suspension details driver steering wheel a few other bits and pieces so a little bit of a little bit of flash on some of these parts especially the rounded parts you see a little bit of um, seam lines on the edge of those that's you know pretty standard uh, that's part of the hobby so and let's have a look at the uh, the wheels here Obviously, we've got the vinyl tracks. We'll show you those in a second. Uh, but these are the, the running gear or the wheels for the vehicle. And they're actually all quite nice. So just try and zoom in a bit better for you on those. All right, so all the front detail. Typical Tamiya. All thought out very well. Um, you haven't got anything on the front that's really going to stand out and look horrible. Even the wheels are the same quite nice but all the uh, any pin marks or anything are all on the back so always well thought out and that's why you got to love these old kits uh, even though they are old they still present um, you know, excellent value for money and a good easy build they're not you know it's not a nightmare build um, now talking in nightmares some of you will be having nightmares over these. <laughs> As I said before a hundred times, I like these. I, I'd rather build these than spend hours putting together individual track links. And I've actually been building on and off for the last two years a Panzer One with individual track links. And my Lord, have I had enough of that kit. It's a great kit, but I'm just sick of those tracks. Uh, there's a few little marks on these that you need to tidy up. Just see if I can get that showing there. Just where my finger is. So see that there? It's probably not going to be noted. Hang on. Zoom in, would you? There we go. Sorry about that, everyone. There's an amateur work in the camera again. Uh, probably not all that noticeable once you've put the tracks on, but uh, I'll probably trim them down before we put it in. And uh, I'll do a video, or you would have seen the uh, the video of the Panzer IV where I show you the... Uh, just how I'll put the tracks uh, links together uh, with the CA glue. It's not hard. So I, I quite like these. These look pretty good to me. So I'm going to enjoy building those. There we go. Last old school cool from Tamiya. So there are other kits out there that I could be doing, but I just thought we'll finish it off with this. Uh, now, I'm not a huge expert on, on the half tracks. So you ask me any question about a tank, from World War II, German tanks specifically, I'll be able to answer it. And 95% of the time I'll be correct. <laughs> uh, but the half tracks I'm a little bit, yeah, skew if with. So I decided this actually cost more than the kit, but this probably wasn't a bad investment. So German half tracks at war, 1939, 1945, images of war. Um, by Paul Thomas, this particular one. They've got a series made by different authors, but you do have some excellent reference photos in these uh, of different half-track vehicles, mules, all sorts of things, um, towing different equipment and different terrains with different camo. Um, you know, look at those little blokes in there. So you got a lot of references in this, and uh, it really is really is worth it. So there's a couple of guys. That's probably what's it, Africa. Uh, no, Eastern Front, Eastern Front, there you go. Well, wow. goes to show what I know. But um, yeah, heaps of of good references in here. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the half tracks and identifying them and, and other bits and pieces, I recommend having a look at that. 
Uh, and you can see on the cover there, it's got the, the 3.7 pack gun, as we were discussing before, um, mounted instead of the machine gun there. So, yes, yes, maybe a future project. Not, not quite sure. Well, that'll do for today. Thanks for watching and uh, tuning in. I hope you uh, like the vehicle. Let me know if you've built one of these. It'd be great to know. If you know if you've built one before, had any um, issues with it, enjoyed it, etc., uh, etc. Et Let me know what to look out for if I uh, ever get around to building this. And uh, don't forget, we've got the monthly subscriber giveaway. So uh, this month, uh, you would have seen the video that we put up earlier this month in January 2019, it is at the moment. And that was for the Panther. That's still to be given away at the end of this month. And I'm going to be doing one every month uh, this year. So keep an eye out. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, whether you'd like to see uh, aircraft, sci-fi, armor, uh, just a few, few hints on what you might like. Uh, I've got a lot of ideas and a lot of things that I can put in there, but I'm not quite sure. So I know some of you have said, oh, look, I'd really love to see X, Y, or Z. Let us know what, you, what you'd like, and uh, definitely, definitely uh, keep an eye out for them, because they are coming. All right, thanks again, and take care.